credit first and foremost um, and they, they they play hard they play they play so well together um, even when things are look chaotic uh, they're in control so um, it's a credit to them and credit to uh, Nick and um, somehow we just found a way we kept fighting we kept sticking together we found a way and um, when it's ugly and uh, we can find a way to win like that you know when we're not playing perfect it's um it's a, it's a plus for us, a plus for our confidence, but um, I mean, we're not done yet. We gotta continue to have that humble mentality and um, we gotta find a way to win another. Jalen, um, setting the uh, franchise record for the playoff points, I mean, is that something you can't bask in yet or is that one of those things where it's like, I'll look back and I will I'll look back when I retire. Seriously, this is, it's great right now. Helped us uh, get a win, but um, it's not gonna do anything for us going forward. They went after game two, you said, even you don't care if you had a bad night as long as the team got the W, but now you go out and set that record and get the win. Do you, I guess, kind of a piggyback on that, but you know, you get to celebrate anymore having the great game you had and the win? No, no, no. You, you, you're happy you uh, got a win, and um, you can look forward to see how can we be better and get a, get another one. And so, um, yeah, it's cool, and I'm um, thankful, and you know, just to be. Uh, had the opportunity to do all that stuff, but um, there's there's no extra to that. It's just we win, we move, we move on, we we figure out how can we be better. What have the last couple what days been like it? for you after you guys lost Thursday night, and how did you get your mind ready and right for today? I'm sorry, you guys say it again. I'm sorry. Um, what was what have been the last uh, couple days for you? What have they been like since you guys lost on Thursday, and how have you um, gotten your mind right and gotten ready for this game today? I um. What did I do? A uh, dinner with family. Um, <coughs> found a way to just relax and um, breathe, not really uh, worry about what's going on on the outside, and um, just kept my mind right. Yeah, you look like that. You bang knees at the end of third quarter. Wow. Yeah, but I'm, I'm all good. You look like you were kind of reluctant to go to the locker room. Is that what you actually yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't didn't want it, but went back there, um, walked around for a couple of seconds, and came back up. Jalen, we, we've seen OG and Precious throughout the regular season since they got here, kind of have that communication on defense. But for them to show up the way they did today, just what did you see that allowed them to be successful, guarding Embiid in the fourth quarter? Yeah, um, they did a great job. Um, Obviously, having them the point of attack, and then um, us just being ready to help them out, and obviously it being a, a handful. And so, um, just for us to go out there and us sit together, especially during crunch time like that, it's, um, it's a pretty remarkable feat considering what him and the rest of the team are capable to do. So, um, but uh, we got to figure out how can we be better. And uh, I'm going to continue to say it, we got to be better if um, we want to close out. And um, move on to the next round because this team's not going to quit fighting. When the beat and drop, what are you evaluating whether to kind of explore that mid-range or take it all the way into the um, I'm exploring a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exploring a lot. I see a lot and uh, just reading what happens, what he does, and going to figure something out. Does it feel like you versus him at all in those pick and roll moments? Um, I mean, they're, they're doing a great job of pursuing, and so um, I can't just be, uh, can't forget about the guy who's guarding the screen. Uh, usually I do, but they've done a great job all series just pursuing the ball. And so um, while I can think that, I'm just figuring out where can I be effective and how can I keep myself on balance, keep them off balance. When you're on. Project, um, Isaiah said that after the first two games, there's a big emphasis on trying to figure out how to get you clear of that first defender a little bit more, like create more space for you. And um, I'm just wondering, like, what's it been like kind of being in problem-solving mode, like with Isaiah and the other bigs, trying to, like, get that pick-and-roll game down? 
Yeah, um, constant communication, uh, making sure we're always on the same page. And um, the bigs, they've been doing a great job of uh, doing what they're supposed to do. And uh, it's on me to create space. It's on me to come off with speed. It's, um, I can't ask them to hold the screen, set the screen, and that's when it gets tricky when a ref might call offense or moving screen or whatever. But um, I had to just set my man up, make sure he hits the screen, create space, and then attack from there. When you're on the... I, I know you said uh, obviously the team win and getting better going forward are the most important things to you. But were you, were you aware you had passed Bernard King until after the game, or did you know anything about that? Didn't know anything about it. Not at all. Yeah, I mean Just, that's a pretty big guy in Knicks history, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. But, um, unless he comes back and helps us win next time. <laughs> 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 I, I promise you, I, it's just. I'll think about it later. I didn't when, see this before, Big John. He played five fouls, 17 rebounds, two blocks in the fourth quarter. Just kind of the effort. I mean, no matter what is going on with him, um, shooting the ball wise, his effort is always going to be there. And so um, that's the one thing that we all expect and all know that we're going to see every single night. So it's a credit to him for affecting the game when offense, offense isn't really working. And then um, we always got his back no matter what. There are a number of times in the fourth quarter with the way you guys were guarding Embiid and Ogiana and the times you would send a second guy to the ball. Like You're putting yourself defensively in situations where you know you're going to have to scramble. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those times you guys just recover really quick, went straight to the right guy really quick. Yeah. How confident are you guys as a team that, like, you know what, we get put in rotation, it doesn't matter. We'll, we're going to figure it out. Um, obviously, uh, Embiid is... Um, Indeed. So he demands uh, attention no matter where, he's on, where he is on the floor, whether he has the ball or not. And so um, obviously with the ball, now we're going to have to put ourselves in positions where we can help out and also get back. And so um, we just know that we got to go out there and fly around and um, just find a way. And so uh, it's never going to be perfect. Obviously things are going to happen. But um, you know, as long as we're sticking together and making sure that we're, we're doing the right things, even if the result may not be what we want, but we just got to be on the same page. How much when you, you, know, like, you that uh, there's such a loud Knicks fan presence? Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. You said it was a surprise in that there was a loud Knicks I mean, to you, I mean, because this is supposed to be the building of the beast, and yet somehow like, there was a lot of MVP chance for I'm not going to lie, this Philadelphia fan base is, um, I said this before, but they're, they're very relentless and so very passionate. Um, I mean, I'm an Eagles fan, I would know, but um, seeing the Knicks here and hearing the Knicks here was, was pretty cool, man. <laughs> nice. It's, it's awesome. What does that say? What, the, what does that say about the Knicks fan base when you're hearing MVP chants at the free throw line? Um, it means that they're for real. They're for real, and no matter where we are, they're going to be there. And so um, I'm appreciative, uh, I'm thankful, and. Um, a lot of these situations wouldn't be done without them. Nice. Thanks, Facts.